Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything, and welcome to Rower Denon on Loch Lomond's eastern shore. I'm actually on the West Highland Way at the moment, but I'm not doing the West Highland Way. I did that last year. There is a link below if you want to see this section of the West Highland Way, but I'm just looking for the cutoff for Ben Lomond. Now Ben Lomond is the second of three walks I'm doing this summer, and this is the more moderate one. And the cutoff is around here somewhere. Ben Lomond is the most southerly of Scotland's Munros. A Munro is a Scottish term for a mountain over 3,000 feet. Ben Lomond is 3,193 feet or 974 metres. Now the temperature here is 17 degrees Celsius, but at the summit it's forecast to be about 9. Visibility is somewhere between good and very good, and we should be able to see for around about 13 miles or 21 kilometres. We're now approaching the Rower Denon car park. And although I haven't been here for about 15 years, I have a feeling this is where the path up to the summit of Ben Lomond leaves from. Aha, I knew it was here somewhere. There's no cloud on the summit, which is a good thing, so we should get some decent views. The ascent is described as challenging, we should be able to do it in about five hours there and back. It's 3.8 miles or 6.2 kilometers each way. From memory, there's a little bit of a scramble at the top. Uh, I haven't done this for 15 years, like I said. That was part of a charity thing I was doing. But uh, on both occasions I've done it in the past, I managed to do it without too much trouble. But then I was younger in those days. Absolutely shocking. We're not even one kilometre into the walk. We're not even above the tree line yet. And I've already overtaken four people. I'm putting these younger people to shame, I really am. Or maybe I should slow down. I mentioned at the start of the video, this was walk number two of three which I'm doing this summer. Number one was fairly easy. 10 miles, 16 kilometers around Great Cumbria Island. If you haven't seen that, there's a link below. This is the sort of intermediate one. And I may as well tell you the biggie. That'll be Ben Nevis. And I plan to do that in the next few weeks before autumn arrives and the first of the snow on the summit. Now I did walk the West Highland Way last year. In fact I walked Glasgow to Ben Nevis, which includes the well, Guide of Fort William portion. But of course I added on two portions as well. Glasgow Mulgai and Fort William to uh, Ben Nevis. Just to make it a little more interesting. Unfortunately, my knees gave up about five kilometres from the summit of Ben Nevis, and I thought, darn you. So this year, I'm going to try it again, and I've worked out my plan of action. So if you want to see me suffer <clears throat> of Ben Nevis, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I sound as if I'm out of breath. And I don't know why. I actually used to do, and may very well take up again, 10k runs. And I read somewhere online that if you can hold a conversation while running, you're not beyond your maximum capacity. And at the moment I'm still having a conversation with you guys, so I haven't reached peak yet. But I probably will, because this is the easy part. Bizarrely, when I'm walking, I don't feel myself gasping for breath. But when I start talking into the camera...
I don't remember that bit. That was a bit of a scramble, although I didn't have to use my hands. When I have to use my hands, then you know it's getting tough. As someone once said, if you can negotiate a trail without taking your hands out of your pockets, it's not that difficult. I'm not quite walking with my hands in my pockets. That's taking it a bit too far. Oh, but we are uh, approaching the tree line. If my memory serves me right, that's Ben Lomond there. That's Ptarmigan. And that's Loch Lomond. This was filmed the very last weekend in August and the heather's coming out to bloom. Oh, I never venture far without my trusty paisley bandana. It's got a multitude of uses and today it's for wiping sweat off my face. I'm a proud paisley boy. Unfortunately this was made in China. Oh well. Right, I've just passed two people and two people have just passed me. So, by slowing down my pace, I think I'm doing better now. Listen, I'm not short of breath either. Even though I've slowed down, I'm still catching up with people. Two people ahead and in front of them a man walking a dog. I was just wondering how a tree manages to survive on a windswept ridge like that. I actually read during uh, COVID lockdown a university document on the, uh, the moorland of the Loch Lomond and Trossex National Park and they believe by doing surveys in the peat, the flies are starting to come now, by doing surveys in the peat, it looks as if up to a couple of thousand years ago, this area used to be forested. You can tell by the pollen, by the seeds, and by everything else. And it's thought by one person that it could have been the Romans who actually deforested the area because of their need for wood. Could be because there's no other reason why a forest, a Caledonian forest, would simply just die away. I was trying to film a whole line of hikers up ahead of me. You know, down by Loch Lomond you get the midges, but up here, this is what I would call unimproved pasture land. You get sheep, you get cattle, and where you find them, you find flies. And there's a lot of them here, and they love the smell of sweat, particularly my sweat, so please go away. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit I remember. Time for the hat. Maybe it'll keep some of the flies off me. I was up at 5 a.m. this morning because to get here I had to use public transport. And at 5 a.m. it was still dark. I thought to myself, is this really such a good idea? Really? I could just roll over and go back to sleep and comfy warm and it would be really nice. But now that I've made the effort, definitely overcome that, that hurdle, get out of your bed and do stuff. That's what I like about this channel. It forces me to do things which I might be a little bit hesitant to do or a lot hesitant to do. But thank you guys for subscribing. I do appreciate every single subscriber. 
and you're the guys that convinced me that getting out of my bed at 5 a.m. was a good thing. And you were right. I did say it was 15 years since I've been here, but I get the feeling there's a lot more steps on this than I remember. And that could be because being in a national park, perhaps they're putting in a lot more stony steps to, uh, to curb erosion. I do remember this part of the climb. After the kilometre or two of uh, tough going, which is rocks and uh, steps and things, this is a lot easier. Gives you a chance to catch your breath. Uh, just in time for the final assault of Ben Lomond, looming ahead. <laughs> time for a short break and to uh, soak up the scenery. I can think of worse places to work. Oh. This is the bit I remember too. Well, that view was definitely worth the effort. So I decided to actually not go down back down to Rower Denon on the tourist route, but I'm going down the Tarmigan route. I've never been down this way before. I believe it's a bit tougher, and already we're about to enter uh, some cloud. <laughs> so we'll see how tough this really is. So far it's been a bit of a scramble, but we're fine. Might be a good idea maybe not to uh, wander around with a camcorder on a selfie stick and focus more on where I'm walking, huh? Yeah, I'll speak to you in a little while. It is a little bit easier going downhill. But this is still not easy because it's quite uh, steep and slippery in places. That was quite a tricky descent. I would hate to try and do it uh, in wet weather or when the rocks were wet. I slipped once and everything's bone dry at the moment. In fact it's still too dangerous to be doing this with a camera and a selfie stick so away it goes for another kilometre at least. This is re relentlessly downhill all the way.
Well guys, that descent was a lot trickier than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was tougher than the main tourist trail, but didn't expect it to be that tough. And there are people who are foolishly actually trying to climb it. Jeez, it's hard enough actually trying to go down it, never mind climb up that. Right, from the top I looked at this track and I thought, well, what have they done to the track? It's a lot of paving stones by the looks of things, natural paving stones. Because this area is so swampy, it's their uh, best way of uh, controlling erosion. Yeah, here's a good example up ahead. You almost feel as if you've got this part of the, uh, the path to yourself. There are a couple of people up there. There's a couple of people behind me. It's so quiet. Yeah. Apart from me yapping. This, despite being a really hard uh, descent, was the right decision. I don't know if I'd want to do it up and come down the tourist path. I think that would be a challenge. Coming down the hard way is uh, the easier option, I think. Right, time to put the camera away again. This is getting a bit tricky. Oop. Isn't that pretty? This is the start of the relentless downhill all the way to Road Denon now. And my legs still feel like jelly. I could see this area up ahead. It was kind of a vivid green colour and I couldn't quite work out what it was. Well, we're here now. Bracken Fern. We are nearly at the bottom, flies are back. That was some descent. When I was walking through those little forests of bracken fern, the humidity, wow. As soon as you leave them and get back into the grassland, it's fine. But it's even better when you're underneath the, the trees. Oh, it's warm out there. <laughs> Aha, signs of civilization. Thank goodness for the West Highland honesty boxes. I just about run out of water. Oh, right, where am I? Well, guys, I'm back at the point where I was roughly five hours ago. That's a good estimate. That ptarmigan track coming down was a killer on the knees. Wow, it was sore. There's no chance I would ever do that up to the top of uh, Ben Lomond, even if you ask me nicely. The next, uh, next walk I'm going to do will be to the top of Ben Nevis. I'm determined to do it because I did fail miserably last year. It's going to be called Ben Nevis 2.0. Um, it should be filmed in the next two to three weeks. It may appear in October, so look out for that one. Anyway guys, thanks very much for putting up with this nonsense. And I'll see you next time.